I want to be a filmmaker. You want to be a filmmaker. <sighs> Let's talk about it. The idea of what makes an interesting shot has been evolving ever since the beginning of cinema. And one of the fundamental ideas that guides modern cinematography is the rule of thirds. Basically, it's just the idea that if you draw two vertical and two horizontal lines on your frame, that placing your subject in one of these quadrants of the frame or on those lines, it's much more interesting and more visually engaging than having them right in the middle. Most films are shot with this idea in mind. Noticing things like that and paying attention to the construction of shots and frames is something that is really important because you begin to notice the emotions and the themes that are trying to be conveyed to you by the cinematographer and the director. Because most films are shot with this idea in mind, it's much more noticeable and noteworthy when a director or a DP breaks that rule and places characters and subjects right in the middle of the frame. And Wes Anderson is the prime example for this. Him and his DP constantly break the idea of the rule of thirds. They place things and subjects right in the middle of the screen, right in the middle of the frame, and they almost always look like paintings. The shots that they get uh, they're super symmetrical and well balanced and things are right dead in the center and they're always they always kind of catch you off guard because you're not used to seeing those things so when they do pop up in his movies and most of the time they do they're very noticeable and it makes things a lot more interesting because you're kind of looking for those shots the shots are always incredibly interesting and unique because it flies in the face of the idea that has been building since the dawn of cinema that having a subject here or here is much more interesting than having them right in the middle so in a way, it almost works backwards and says it's more interesting now because we're so used to having them on the sides. So it's much more interesting now than it would have been in the 1920s or 1930s just because that is kind of how it was. Things were just shot symmetrically. But now that we're used to things being here and here, Wes Anderson and his DP are outliers and they're much more interesting shots because they kind of go back to the idea that right in the middle is just good looking and it, it looks like a painting. Their style wouldn't stand out nearly as much if all films were shot this way. And this is just the idea of placing the subject in the frame, let alone camera movement and the motivations behind the camera movement. Once you've got the rule of thirds in mind, you can really begin to play with the audience's expectations and emotions with the way that you frame things. Some very basic examples are that looking up at a person makes them look more powerful, more sinister, and like they've got control. Looking down on a person makes them feel smaller and weak and out of control. Within the frame, the way a character moves left to right, up or down, can also indicate their state of being in the film. <laughs> A character moving left to right can indicate progress in the film and that their character is going somewhere. My personal theory on this is that because when we read, we read left to right, um, that that indicates progress. You know, when we're reading the book, we're progressing through it, we're gaining knowledge. So I think that's kind of the reason that left to right characters seem to be making progress. And then on the other hand, you've got characters moving right to left and they're losing progress. All of these things play into the viewer's psyche and knowing these things and being able to manipulate them can only make your films that much better. Being able to use these to your advantage or play them against the audience. Oh, no. Being able to use these to your advantage or playing them against the audience's expectations can add an extra level of subconscious storytelling to your films. The psychology of having the camera on a tripod or handheld or how the camera's moving or where the subject is in the frame has always really, really interested me. It's the, uh, whether or not the o and oh my the point. Whether the audience notices or not isn't the point. The point is that when an image is placed in front of someone, the way it looks, the way it feels, the way it seeps into their brain evokes a reaction, regardless of intention. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This has been a Runaway Brain production, and I'll see you guys next time.